A busy stretch of road is about to close for two months. Good evening, I'm Tara Brantley. And I'm Dirk Rowley. State Boulevard between Wells and Clinton will close to all through traffic tomorrow. The second phase of the road reconstruction work there. News Channel 15's Chris Darby talked with the shop owner in that spot. Chris joins us live from State Boulevard. What business are we talking about, Chris? We're talking about Ink Spot. It's just up the hill from where I am on State Boulevard. 16,000 cars go by this spot every day. And that includes the handful that are going to have to find a new route to get to that shop. This whole project really, really has me quite concerned, to say the least. Traffic flows along State Boulevard by Ink Spot today, but a truck dropping off barricades is a sign of what's to come. Soon, a big hole will appear at the intersection with Cass Street. I'm in the middle of this project and virtually they're going to have the lanes closed on State Boulevard out here going both ways. An unofficial ink spot detour is set. The shop keep encouraging people to take Jacob Street off Wells or Clinton to Edge Hill to State to get to his front door. For through traffic though, an official city detour has been shared with us. It uses Wells to Fernhill to Lima to Clinton. We're heading the other way Clinton to Lima to Fernhill to Wells. But it is a route that has some day trucks, those trucks that deliver maybe to the businesses in the area. And so the detour really was for, to help them figure out a route so that they could get through and still get to their destination. This rerouting of traffic should last until the end of November. NIPSCO is putting in new pipeline in the area, a step in the process of moving State Boulevard, which really gets serious next year. That will be bid in February of 2019. Um, we believe that the construction will start then shortly after that in March, so these utilities need to do their relocates before that. Hopefully it uh, should be, you know, a good thing, but to get there, I, it'll be hard for me to stay in business, to be honest with you. With Northside being right down the street, I checked in with Fort Wayne Community Schools. They tell me some buses will be rerouted to avoid the construction, but all the parents who need to worry about that should have already been notified about where new bus stops might be. There's also a good amount of kids that walk to and from the school in this area, and some of those will not be able to do that. They need to pay attention to see if there are different ways around this construction when they head to school tomorrow morning. Live along State Boulevard, Chris Darby, News Channel 15. Good information to know, Chris. Thank you.